welcome to Life Hacks. And the question is, what is the harsh truth of life? Well, the harsh truth of life is that life is not meant to be fair or right or good or bad. Life is just life. And the worst thing you can do is take it personally. Right? Life is life just happens. And so the way I look at life, my model of reality around life is that life is a game. So we're in this massive game and this game studly month by month, year by year, slowly gets more and more difficult. And life is about growth and evolution. And if you keep growing so that you're ahead of this game, uh, that you're at a higher level than this game is, then you're going to have a great life. You're going to have an enjoyable life. You're going to have a great life because your skill level is above that of the difficulty of the game of life. But if you are not growing fast enough, if you're not evolving fast enough, and life, the, the difficulty the, of the game of life gets beyond your skill level, that is going to cause pain and that is going to cause suffering. So you're going to suffer if you're not at the skill level to handle life. So you have to keep growing. And I have come across people um, who stop growing, who don't want to go grow. I call them the daily male readers. They've stopped evolving. And by the way, in life, you're either evolving up or you're decaying or dying. You can't, there's no way you just stay at the same level. There's none of that. You're either going up or you're going down. And if you're not going up, which you have to direct consciously, then you're going down. And you do not want to be going down because going down whilst trying to stay stagnant at the same level, one of the most powerful things you can do that teaches you to respond to life, not react to it, I have experience of this, is meditation. Meditation is amazing. Med allows you to take control of your mind. Your mind is your most powerful weapon and your greatest enemy if you control it. If you do not control it, then it's your, your greatest enemy. Life, uh, life is a terrible master, but an, but an awesome uh, servant. So if you, can take, if you can take control of your mind, then you have an amazing servant. But if you, if you cannot, then, that, then your mind will take control of you. And it is a very terrible sinister master so you do not want that so i call the people who don't uh, evolve who don't grow i call them daily mail readers so if you if you ever see me refer you to you as a daily mail reader it means you're a neanderthal you can't take it with you so it doesn't matter how much wealth materials you accumulate when you leave you're going going empty-handed and naked you came into this world empty-handed and naked, and you're going to leave empty-handed and naked. So whatever you have here, make the best of it, but you're not taking it with you. Uh, and the other one is that the birth, if you've been born, which we all have, then one thing we are guaranteed in life is that one day we're going to die. So you have to come to terms with our own death, and one of the ways to do that is meditation. Meditation allows you to see yourself as you really are. That's a lot of the meditation I'm talking about. And you then come to come to better terms with, uh, with death. Uh, the other one is enjoy the experience, right? You're here. You're, you're at the theme ride of life. Might as well enjoy it. You know, you, you're going to be going on these roller coasters. Whether you like it or not, you might as well like it. So, yeah, enjoy the experience. Always be learning, always be growing, always be evolving so that you can have a great life, so you can stay ahead of the game, ahead of the curve, so that you always, uh, so your skill level is always above than the difficulty of the game of life. Um, and the other one is that life is created from the inside to the outside. So you create. You create your reality inside here, and then over time, that then gets projected out. So you, so if you want to change your life, you want to change your internal. And one of the ways to do it uh, is meditation. Meditation and yoga, tai chi, all that kind of stuff. And the last one is karma. 
karma. Karma uh, means that uh, you you have freedom, you have choice, uh, you can make your own decisions, you have free will, but with that free will comes responsibility. So if your choices are wise, if your actions are wise, then the results will be wise, will be good. If your actions and your results and your um, whatever you're doing is unwise, is bad, is negative or whatever, then the consequences are the same. So what karma is telling us is that we get to choose, we get to decide, but there are consequences to those choices, to those decisions. Uh, so choose wisely, choose consciously, and the results will be good and beneficial for you. Choose unwisely, choose unconsciously, and the results will be uh, negative. So karma is a very powerful um, Eastern philosophy uh, law. Okay.